excited tonight give the lord a clap and a shout of praise as you may be seated on behalf of god's servant and god's handmaiden i welcome viewers all over the world it is commanding the day midnight prayer it's that time of the night when we make the devil pay for his devilishness since he has decided that he will not rest we are determined that he will not rest Tonight, call someone on phone, wake someone up, knock on your neighbor's door. Just make sure that someone is connected to this broadcast on the account of your invitation. And the rewarder will certainly reward you. Hallelujah. It's time for testimonies. And we have the first testimony coming from Bro GM from Abuja. It says, above only, that's my place. I want to thank God for deliverance from the manipulation of the enemy. I was introduced to commanding the day midnight prayers by my fiance's elder sister early this January. And since then, I've been addicted to the program. Early November, I paid a larger portion of my fiance's bride price. And then the devil struck. I started experiencing near success syndrome. And she was also 
affected spiritually and mentally. This has been a cause of major concern to me because ideally we are meant to get wedded next month. But because of the inability to balance the bride price, it has been placed on hold. On the 20th of March, 2023, Pastor said, where God has placed you, no devil can pull you down. I held on to the world. After the program, I slept and dreamed where I saw that her ex and his father were making some incantations against her. And suddenly, I saw also in the glory dome where our parents in the Lord laid hands on us, canceling every evil incantation. And the next thing I saw, we were in our wedding outfit. I believe our deliverance has come in Jesus' name. Next testimony is from Mrs. Ungozi E. from the United States of America. Above only, that's my place. I have come to return all the glory to God for healings and deliverances I have received through this altar. God healed me of waist pain and urinary challenges that caused me insomnia as I barely sleep and excruciating pain on my breast. I never knew cobweb attack was a thing until I started experiencing it in the U.S. Even in my car. Thank God for this altar of fire. I believe stagnancy in every area is sent back to hell. I have been on the altar since December and Dr. Pastor Paul Anencha in one of the nights made a declaration in line with my sickness. God's servant made a declaration against every growth and lump. I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism that caused goiter for over 14 years. And I have been on medication. It also causes me to be extremely cold when others are hurt. And when it's cold, I experience very painful lumps on my breast, among other horrible symptoms. He also mentioned the, the case of my brother who has been booked for surgery for hydrocele. And I convinced him to connect to the prayer and hold off the surgery as I believe his word will come. Just like that, his word came to so much to mention of the various interventions we have received from this altar. God bless our parents in the Lord for their labor of love and the commanding the day midnight team. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise in the name that is above every name, Jesus Christ, the resurrected Lord. Every agenda of hell in your life is arrested back to hell in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The next testimony will have Sister Martha B. from Gabon. She said, good morning, my Dunamis family. I've come to say thank you to the God of our spiritual parents for healing me from uterine prolapse. It all started after I had my second daughter. During delivery, I had the midwife screaming and calling her colleague to come and see um, what was happening because it was, her, it was the first time she, she had seen such in her entire career. Every remedy they gave me refused to work. I carried out several um, research to see how I could help myself, but it didn't work. I took it up to God during the command of David in prayer, and I cried to God, and he healed me. Thank you, Jesus. Also, I want to thank God for the revival of my prayer life through the command of David in prayer and restoring my dream life. For some, time, for some months now, I will sleep, and when I wake up, I will not remember anything at all. I was worried about it. So one of the nights during the personal supplication, I prayed that God should restore my dream life, and boom, the Lord heard my prayers. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercies. May the good Lord replenish you, sir and ma, for the tireless efforts you put in for some of us and to the Commander Day Midnight Prayer crew. God bless you. Hallelujah. Let's have the last in this segment from Mrs. Sarah O. A. from Delta State. And she said, good morning, my commanded Demina prayer family. I joined this prayer altar through a brother in my church in January this year. And since that day, I have seen God doing wonders in my life and marriage. I got married in June 2005 and became pregnant in November 2009. Lost the pregnancy within a few days and I was told I had fibroid and ovarian cysts from various lab results. Since 2010 till I joined this platform, my tummy 
was like that of a pregnant woman due to heaviness in my lower abdomen. Strange movement and strange kicking in my tummy all the time like a baby kicking. I couldn't lie on my, on my abdomen because this strange object would push me away. It was as if I was sleeping on a baby in my, in my womb. That, was, uh, that has been my experience since 2010. People of God, ever since I connected to this platform in January this year, I don't feel any heaviness in my lower abdomen anymore. The straight movement and kicking like a baby has stopped and the sharp pain in my lower abdomen gone forever to hell. I sleep on my tummy freely without any strange object pushing me. Hmm. This God is too faithful. The God that did all this is able to bless me with the fruit of the womb and put an end to the activities of strange women in my marriage. I don't know the exact day that God answered my prayers on this prayer altar because I always say amen to all the declarations and testimonies. May God continue to use his servant to do great and mighty wonders on this platform in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Can we celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? Let's go, 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 go. Let's go, 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 go. You may be comfortably seated anywhere you are watching here tonight. Hallelujah. These comrades here, shout hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'd like to welcome you again. Please wake somebody up. Wake your neighbor. Wake your friend. Wake a loved one. And let them be part of the commanding day. Send somebody data today and um, let God's name be glorified. And, and um, if, 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 you, if you must reserve your fuel or your diesel for your generator, reserve it to be on at about this time every night so that you are blessed. Praise the Lord. Let's go on. Mrs. B.A. from the UK says she was introduced to the commanding day midnight prayer by a family friend. On the 18th of March, 2024, pastor mentioned a name, Abdul, her husband's name, and said, you are delivered from altars and herbalists, which has been her husband's case. They have fought her marriage, attacked them from all sides, but God's grace has kept them. Pastor also mentioned about a mother believing God for their autistic son between the age of three to four, but God, that God has healed that child. He said God is giving a ch the child a new brain. She ran to her son's room and laid hands on him and started claiming the miracle. And she has been watching him since that morning. He is as calm as ice. Wow. Hey. Wow. Mm. Wow. He does more listening now and is not hyperactive anymore. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey. Wow, wow, wow. To God be the glory. They visited Nigeria in 2020 during COVID and returned back to the UK only to realize that a child that was talking normally lost his speech and has been diagnosed with autism. Since the declaration, he's beginning to pick words 
and obey instructions wow. now. God is indeed faithful and true to his words. Her joy is limitless regarding her son. Wow. God bless everyone. She shall come with more testimony soon in Jesus' he's name. He's as cool as ice now. <laughs> and obeying instructions. And he's listening more. Hallelujah. Let's see the declarations. Abdul, I declare your freedom and your liberty from the spirit of the dead and the spirit of your father's house. I declare La cote fretina galagada. I take authority over the altar of native doctor against your life, the name I just mentioned. And everyone here today with an altar of the native doctor fighting you, an uncle is a native doctor or a, or a family. A, a relation has a native doctor shrine in your fa in, in your family and it's attacking your life and your family and your destiny i declare the yoke is broken in the name of jesus the spirit of autism is arrested i'm talking to a mother wow. you are concerned about your autistic child back to back. very very back restless to back. and very 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 house upside down he wakes up in the morning as cool as ice and you'll be wondering what happened Autism gone to hell forever. A child that is literally running your life. See at around that age, like three, between three and five, just running your life. I declare that yoke is broken. And every autistic child where a parent is connected right now, I declare the yoke is broken. God will give the child a new brain. And as you wake up in the morning, send us a text message. Give the Lord a big clap. That is, is the same family that God was talking to in a continuation. Wow. Father and son. Amazing God. God is going to give somebody your own testimony tonight in the name of Jesus. Let's look at another one. Miss D.D. from Enugu says, Good morning, commanding the day midnight prayer crew. She has come to return all the glory to God who confirms the words of his prophets. Her heart is filled with joy because God answers prayers from this altar. She joined the Commanding Day Midnight Prayer via Facebook in November 2023, but became very active in January 2024. She's a medical student. She wrote her prof professional exam in December 2023. She passed one and failed the other one. She was devastated because she worked so hard to, to make sure she passed. She was so close to crossing the cutoff mark. She encouraged herself and started preparing for the receipt exam. Fast forward, fast forward to March 14th, on the last day of her receipt exam, she was so discouraged and depressed. She reluctantly joined the commanding day midnight prayer that midnight, and God's servant mentioned her case. He said, there's someone here that is depressed and has reluctantly joined the prayer. The Lord will show you mercy and cause you to testify. That last day of her exam, was to determine her fate in medical school. She prayed that night to get a good examiner in a good case. And God did it for her, exactly as she asked. He really showed her mercy. As if that was not enough, on the 19th of March, her case was mentioned again by God's servant about someone who has been having near success syndrome and sees herself in her old school in dreams. That was her. She always had dreams where she saw herself in her secondary school and writing exam in classroom, exams in classrooms. God's servant went further to say, this is a sign to you. The next breakthrough you are expecting will go through to the end. And what you are pursuing is going to be concluded before this week runs out. Immediately she sowed a seed of faith. Allah, 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 her result is out and she passed to the glory of God. Hallelujah. She promised God that when she passes, she must return to share her testimony on this altar. She has come to thank God for indeed he has delivered her from the spirit of delays, of depression, and near success syndrome. God bless Pastor Paul Enenche and Dr. Becky Enenche. And God bless the commanding day midnight prayer crew. Declaration videos attached. The Lord showed me tonight that there is a spell of depression. A spell of discouragement, a spell of despair that is trying to make you give up, not just on God, but give up on praying. Even tonight you connected reluctantly. 
God is setting you free from that spell. Amen. It's an evil spell because you are at the brink of your testimony. Amen. And in the name of Jesus, under the next 24 to 48 hours, the Lord give you the reason to know Amen. that he has not given up on your case. Amen. And show you mercy Amen. and cause you to give testimonies. Praise. God is dealing right now with the spell of near success syndrome. You almost share the testimony and then the testimony disappeared. And you see yourself in dreams where you are climbing but never reaching the top. You see yourself in dreams where you are writing difficult examinations and, uh, that you never seem to get the answer of. You see yourself in dreams in your own house and in your own school. Today, I declare that yoke is broken. The last time you saw it shall be the last. This is a sign to you. The next breakthrough that will that 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 you are about to expect is going to go through to the end tangible conclusion and then what you are pursuing right now is going to be concluded before this week is out you believe that shall the lord say amen. amen hallelujah somebody's breakthrough is coming to conclusion this week in the name of jesus christ hallelujah let's take one more mrs b a b from just says good morning people of god she joined the commanding day midnight prayer late in december 2023 she's been trusting god that her case will be mentioned and it came during the commanding day midnight prayer of the 21st of march 2024 before the prayer started she was completely downcast and disturbed about her situation and that of her sisters she reluctantly joined at about 12.05, and during the personal supplication, with tears in her eyes, she asked that the Lord should locate her and three of her sisters and change their stories. To God be the glory, their word came during the declaration. Pastor said, and she quotes, I see a family of four ladies, and the person I'm talking to is the third person, probably watching now. The challenge is that once you get married, school fees is on you, Children's clothes on you, and the feeding of the household is on you. And this is a spell and an ancestral curse, a generational curse, a uh, spell. No matter how successful the men are, they must crash until the weight is on the wife. That is a curse, and it's a generational spell. I declare the spell is broken. She shouted, Amen. That was her situation, and that of her three sisters. They shouldered the responsibilities of their homes. Four of her sisters are married, including herself, with the exact description of the case mentioned. She believes the Lord has delivered them on this altar of fire and shall come back with great testimonies in Jesus' name. God is delivering other people with this same condition today in the name of Jesus Christ. Now the declaration video is attached. Yes, Listen to it and appropriate it for yourself. This is at the uh, crusade at... Kaduna. Is this Kaduna? The third person now. Oh, wow. Probably watching right now. The challenge is that the women are the ones who take care of the men. You get married, and school fees is on you. Children's clothes is on you. Feeding in the house is on you. And this is a spell. No matter how successful the men will do, they must crash until the weight is on the wife. It's an ancestral curse. It's a generational spell. I stand up on this altar right now. I decree that spell is broken. Celebrations, let's go. The spell is broken. Broken, broken.
Somebody give the king the praise. Clap your hands, all ye people. Shout to the Lord with the voice of triumph. Anybody excited in what God is doing in our midst? All over the world. The spirit of the Lord is moving. And the earth is being filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. As the waters cover the seas. Say it loud, amen. 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 Colossians chapter 1 and in verse 27. The Bible says, to whom God will make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you. The hope of glory. In God we have hope. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and in verse 4. The Bible said, for to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. Because a living dog is better than a dead lion. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for the hope, for the hope we, have we have in you. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord for not leaving us not hopeless, hopeless and, helpless and helpless in this civil world. Be glorified, glorified O oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father, thank you, thank you for, the for the hope we have in you. Have in you. Thank, thank you, Lord, you, Lord for not leaving us hopeless, hopeless and helpless in this evil world. Be glorified, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go on ahead and speak to God. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. Amen. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and in verse 24. Faithfully see that call it you who also will do it. Faithfully see that call it you who also will do it. We have a faithful God who has been doing for us the thing he called us to do. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and in verse 21. The Bible said he is thy praise and he is thy God that has done for thee these great and terrible things which thine eyes have seen. We have seen very, very great things. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for being faithful, for being faithful in, doing in doing what you have called us have called to, do. to do. Thank you thank for you. proving yourself for proving consistently, consistently in our midst, in our midst as, the as the caller. Be glorified, Be glorified oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go on ahead and pray. <laughs> Jesus precious name. Amen. Psalm 105 and in verse 15 the Bible said alright let's start from verse 12 when they went from when they were but a few men in number here very few and strangers in it when they went from one nation to another from one kingdom to another people he suffered no man to do them wrong here he reproved kings for their sake saying Touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm. Yes. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father we, release we release your rebuke, your rebuke on, every force on every force or agent, or agent of, the enemy, of the enemy position, position today, today to do us, to do us wrong, wrong in revenge, revenge reprisal, or, or counterattacks. Oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, okay, Father, Father, we release, we release the, rebuke, the rebuke, your rebuke on every force, on every force or, agent or agent of the enemy, of the enemy position, position to do us wrong in revenge. In reprisal or counter attacks today, Lord, in the name of Jesus, go on ahead and pray. I'm <laughs> sorry. 
the name of Jesus. Father, we give you the praise and give you the honor in the name of Jesus. In the Bible, in Psalm 92 and in verse 4, the Bible said, For thou, Lord, has made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of thy hands. Second Corinthians 2 and in verse 14, today is our, we are making demands on the mantle of triumph. Now, thanks be unto God, which always caused us to triumph in Christ and make it manifest the savour of his knowledge by us in every place. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day, this new day with a fresh mantle, a fresh mantle of, triumph of triumph over every agenda or activity, or activity of the enemy, of the enemy. Today, Lord, today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, okay, Father, Father, I step, I step into this new day this with, new day, with a fresh mantle, with a fresh mantle. Of triumph, of triumph over every agenda of the activity, of, activity of the enemy of the today, Lord, today, Lord, in the name of the Jesus. Name of Jesus. Go ahead and lift your voice. Up. In the name of Jesus, we proceed in triumph over the agenda of the enemy today in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it like a believer. Amen. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and in verse 14, the Bible said, I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it and nothing taken from it. And God doeth it that men should fear before him. I announce to someone here today, what God has done in your life, you will not lose it. Amen. What God has established in you, no devil shall uproot it. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, declare I declare this new day, this new day as, my day as my day of stability, stability and establishment, and establishment of, all of all divine results, results in, my life, in my life, in the name of Jesus. Name of say, Father, Father, I declare, I declare this, new day, this new day as my day, as my day of stability, stability and establishment, establishment of divine results result in my life, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus. Amen. The Lord had an answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Everything that is yours in Christ today is entering your hands. Amen. Can you receive that with the ladder? Amen. Amen. John chapter 1 and in verse 16, the Bible said, and of his fullness have all we received and grace for grace. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I take full delivery, take full delivery of, all of all that is mine, that is mine in, Christ in Christ today, today in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I, take I take full delivery of his fullness, of his fullness in, Jesus in Jesus' name. Again, Father, Father I take full delivery, take full delivery of, all of all that is mine, that is mine in, Christ in Christ today, today in the name of, Jesus. Name of Jesus. Jesus. I take full delivery, take full delivery of, his of his fullness in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Go on and lift your voice up there. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Jesus precious name. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus name. Can I hear louder? Amen. Amen. All that we are speaking today is hearing us and answering in Jesus name. Amen. Numbers 14 and in verse 28 he said, say unto them, as truly as I live, say the Lord, as you have spoken in my ears, so will I do to you. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for doing, for doing all that we are speaking, that we are speaking in, your ears in your ears today. today. We, receive we receive all answers, all answers with, thanksgiving. with thanksgiving. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of in Jesus, name of go on ahead and speak to God. Father, Father, thank you for doing all we are speaking in your ears today. Jesus, the Lord has heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Shout the Lord and say amen. amen. Wake somebody up at this moment as we step into the very, very brutal decrees and declarations. Psalm 76 and in verse 12. He shall cut off the spirit of evil demonic princes and principalities. He is terrible to the kings of the earth. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you cut off, cut off the, spirit the spirit of evil, of evil and, wicked and wicked princes, princes of, darkness of darkness today. today. Let them witness, let them witness your, terror your terror and let it delete let it their, wickedness their wickedness today, today. In, the in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you cut off, you cut off the, spirit the spirit of evil, of evil and, wicked and wicked princes of darkness, of darkness today. Today. Let them witness let them your, terror your terror and let it delete, let it delete their, wickedness their wickedness targeted against us against today, Lord, today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Jesus. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 83 verse 14 and verse 15. As the fire burneth a wood and as the flame set the mountains on fire so persecute them with thy tempest and make them afraid with thy storm. Amen. Say louder amen. amen. This is a, the portion of every altar positioned against us today. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you release, that you release the, fire the fire of your judgment, of your judgment on every, on every disruptive, disruptive, distracting, distracting, destructive, destructive agenda, agenda of, the of the enemy against your plan, against your plan and, purpose and purpose for our lives, for our lives. Today, today. We set the altars, set altars on fire, fire. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of say, Jesus. Father, Father, we release, we release 
the fire of your judgment on every disruptive, distracted, destructive agenda of the enemy against your plan and purpose for our lives today. We set the altars on fire, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus, precious name. Amen. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Isaiah 54 and in verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Amen. Can you say louder? Amen. Amen. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Amen. Wow. Now read with me Psalm 124, verse 1 to the end. 124. One to go. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side. Now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick. When their rod was kindled against us, then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. And our help it's in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Now Psalm 107, verse 15 to 16, all together. One, two, go. Oh, that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he has broken the case of brass and cut the bars of iron. You are coming out. The case of brass is broken. You are coming out. Every power controlling your life and your destiny tonight, the powers are broken. Will you lift your voice and say, Father, I refuse the grip of every controlling power of the enemy over my life. I destroy the power of every enemy altar or covenant over my life in this season, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, say, Father, I refuse the grip of every controlling power of the enemy over my life. I destroy the power of every enemy altar or covenant over my life in this season. Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. pray. of every controlling power over my life I destroy let us suffer in an order for you 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 let us suffer in Jesus precious name the Lord had an answer us in Jesus name Acts chapter 2 and in verse 1 to 2 and then Verse 6. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came the sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And now, when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. Somebody say aloud, Amen. Amen. 
Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that the move, that the move of, your spirit, of your spirit in our midst, in, our midst, in this season, in this season will, location, will location the harvest, the harvest of, multitude, of multitude unto salvation, unto salvation and, discipleship. and discipleship through this altar. Through this altar. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father we, ask we ask that the move, that the move of, your spirit, of your spirit in our midst, in, our midst, in, this, season, in this season will location, will location the, harvest the harvest of multitude, of multitude unto, salvation, unto salvation and discipleship, and discipleship through this altar, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. Jesus precious name. If you are saying amen, say a lot of amen. If you are saying amen, say the Lord must say amen. Hallelujah. We are about to step into personal supplication after we have taken some testimonies. Go ahead and let's celebrate the King of Kings. Want to go? Go, 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 go. The Lord has answered my prayer. He has heard me already. God we serve. And now we are taking testimonies. This is Mercy A from Rwanda. I've come to say thank you Lord for mentioning my case on the 23rd, 21st of March 2024. Pastor Paul and Angel called out my case. I joined the prayer since January 13th this year. I was in debt so much so that I didn't know how to pay. My business stopped. My two intelligent children that school abroad could not find jobs. I started borrowing to pay, borrowing to eat, borrowing to go to church. Before joining the prayers that day, I was weak in my spirit. Then, my word came. There is someone you are entitled in debt. Today, that spell is broken. I shouted, Amen. I am eternally grateful for this deliverance. I know God who did this to equally establish my children in good jobs. In Jesus' name, I'm coming back with more testimonies. Give the Lord a praise. It is done. Debt is trying to sink you. You borrow things you don't need. It's still the crusade. Your father almost died of debt. And the same plague is on your life. You are in a cycle. You borrow to pay this and then borrow from here to pay the second person. Today, I declare that spell of indebtedness is broken in the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a big clap and a lot of shout of praise. Hallelujah. Mrs. Mercy from Rwanda, that cycle is broken forever in Jesus' name. Good morning, Commander Day, Midnight Prayer Crew. I was introduced to this great platform last year. When I started joining, Last year when it just started. About three days into joining, some, something like a charm was found in my father's house with S written on it. My name is Susan. After that revelation, I started experiencing breakthrough financially on all sides. So something like charm was found that is literally uprooted out. Wow. 
Secondly, I was battling with ceased menstruation for almost a year due to hormonal imbalance. This has robbed me of peace and I get up in fearful thoughts of the future when I marry and all that. So I will always shout amen when, whenever Pastor Enenche mentioned the case. Is it from Niger or Niger? Or somebody with a similar testimony. On the 17th of March, I cried to God during the personal supplication about the matter again. I told God, if you can heal HIV and other chronic diseases, what is hormonal imbalance before you, Lord? Brethren, in the morning I went to ease myself and behold, Allah, 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 I saw my menses. I have been so happy to see my period. It was miraculously restored after taking so many medications, all to no avail. Hey, it flowed very normal. I finally feel like a complete woman again. I know my healing is permanent and hormonal imbalance has been checked back to hell. This God, eh? God bless you all for your sacrifices of love for us on this altar of prayer. May God continue to renew your strength in Jesus' name. I have returned to give glory to God and I'm coming back to share many more testimonies in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. The charm that was found with her name S and once this was uprooted and returned to hell, her breakthrough started. Anywhere they buried your destiny, today shall be exhumed. Any altar that they, they have used to tie down your destiny is set on fire. And your destiny is released in the name of Jesus. Somebody say loud, amen. Sister K, testimony my marriage got threatened due to occultic practices. My husband and his mother were engaged in. I prayed to withstand this thing, but God bad when it turned on me. I eventually left our home. As a result of violence and threat over time. The issue went to court. My children stayed with me all through the divorce proceedings. And I was granted physical custody of them. To frustrate me, their father totally abandoned the children. And ignored the judge's judgment. One thing that weighed heavily in my heart was how to make sure my children love God. And pursue him steadfastly. So no one, not even a father, could sway them away from Christ. During the commanded day prayers on 12th of March, 2024, God spoke through his servant, Pastor Paul, and just saying, I see one in the middle of a divorce process, a woman. It is not your own will, but you find yourself trusting to a divorce proceeding. All you are trusting God for is a fair hearing. You are trusting God for intervention. You don't want st the stress of court case. I declare today the stress and burden is over. A woman... One of the people I'm talking to, no child at all in their relationship. The other one, custody of children and the man struggling. You know him very well to be occultic. Wow. That has the capacity to temper with the destiny of the children. And you say, no, this man can't take the children. I declare it will not happen. Divine intervention. Those children are arrows in the hands of the almighty God. They will not miss target in the name of Jesus. And God did it. Wow. I thank God for his divine intervention in the lives of my children and I declarations attached wow wow i see one in the middle of a divorce process a woman it's not your own will it's not your desire but you find yourself trust into a divorce proceeding all you are trusting god for is for a fair hearing you are trusting god for divine intervention you don't want the stress of court. You don't want the stress of, of court case. You don't want the burden of court. I declare today, the stress and the burden is over. I prophesy divine intervention right now. In the name of Jesus, a woman, one of the people I'm talking to, no child at all in the, in the relationship. The other one, custody of children and, 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 and the man struggling you know him very well to be occultic that has the capacity to tamper with the destiny of the children and you say no this man can't get, take the children I declare it will not happen divine intervention those children are arrows in the hands of the mighty God they will not miss target wow. in the name of Jesus and she got the custody of the children and the children are serving God as arrows. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise in the name of Jesus, Mrs. R.E. from Abbas, Abia State. Above all, that's my place. I've come to return all glory to God for using his servant to deliver me on the 13th of March, 2024. That night was my first night of joining the prayers and God visited me immediately. Around November last year, my menstruation ceased 
and I thought I was pregnant, but after a month, I went for a pregnancy test and it turned out negative. So I felt like that until 6th of March. It started feeling and I thought it was going to be normal flow, but it turned to be something else. It was feeling like a tap and I became afraid. So that 13th of March, I didn't know what to do. I was just crawling up and down my Facebook waiting for the next morning so I can be taken to the hospital. And suddenly I came across the commander day in my prayer and something told me to join. And brethren, my deliverance came. The man of God mentioned my case almost immediately. He said, that bleeding is over. That devil trying to drain your blood is destroyed forever. You shall not die in Jesus' name. And I shouted amen because I knew he was talking to me. Immediately, the flow stopped till date. That was somebody joining for the first time. May God alone be praised forever. Amen. Declaration attached. Somebody give the Lord the praise. And God rescues someone now from a bleeding situation. And when I say bleeding, anywhere they are making demands of your life, I declare that demand is over. You will not bleed to death. Whether bleeding from your female reproductive system, excessive bleeding, bleeding, bleeding from a bleeding ulcer inside where you go to the toilet it, the stool is black today i declare it is over the bleeding ended give the lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise mrs jl from ibadan above only that's my place i joined the great dynamics family around october 2023 and i also joined the commanded day night prayer and since then god has been so faithful to me I had a dream around January 2024 where I had an encounter with Dr. Pastor Paul and Encha in that dream. He laid his hands on me and prayed for me and since then, miracles upon miracles started happening in my life. That same January, I got a call from someone, but I, I don't know in Adamawa State, that they want to buy day-old birds, chicks. And immediately they told me the thousands of birds he wanted. Immediately I felt this person was a scam because I didn't know anyone in Adamawa. But this person kept calling me that I should send my account details that they needed the beds as soon as possible. I then had to ask him who gave him my contact and he said he got my number five years ago from one Mr. Solomon. It was when he mentioned Mr. The Solomon, I remember truly, one Solomon came to Ibadan to buy a box of beds <laughs> from me five years ago. I then asked of the Solomon and was told he has passed on two years ago. Like play, like play. This unknown man from Adama was his tenth money for the beds in six zeros. On the week of supply, he called again that he needed some vaccines for the birds. And like play again, this unknown man set money in six zeros. I was surprised that someone in this country could trust his funds to someone he hasn't seen or met before. All glory to God. The birds were supplied from Ibadan to Adamawa safely. And after two weeks of supply, the unknown man called to appreciate me. He said for me to be honest and truthful to them. That his boss asked him to give me a gift, a check in five zeros. Wow. To God be all the, be the glory. Since I joined this commission, life has been so beautiful. Lastly, anytime I am worried and listening to these two songs, you are always there to help. And mantles are falling within 24 hours. All my worries are gone and all needs are supplied in abundance. Is somebody hearing a secret here? Mantus are falling. The mantus to break the battles. And you are always there to help. I do not take this connection for granted. I will come for more testimonies. By his message. Ola, ola, ola. You can get the songs on Audio Mark. You can get the songs on Spotify. On Apple Music. And so on and so forth. Just ensure that you link up with the songs. And then. Testimony from brethren. In Kakuri community. Kaduna. Praise the Lord, brethren. This testimony is a product of the just concluded healing and deliverance crusade in Kaduna. Brethren, if you are still in doubt of the power of God at work in Dunamis, you are doing yourself a disservice because indeed, there are more than enough proofs already. And this testimony is one of them. In our local community, Kakuri here in Kaduna State, there was a certain notorious evil man that has been terrorizing the people in the neighborhood. He's known for it. It's not hidden. He uses all forms of diabolic powers to manipulate the lives of people in the neighborhood. One of his major purposes is to frustrate everything that has to do with Christianity in the neighborhood. As a Christian, you dare not pray aloud as there will be an attack on you once he, the notorious civil man, is aware. 
Several churches planted within that area failed to thrive because of this man. Prayers have even been organized in time past against this man for judgment upon him and all his devices. But after this prayer, the pastor who headed the prayer will, will be attacked mysteriously. When we heard of the Kaduna Healing and Deliverance Crusade, as soon as the publicity materials were out, we took one of the posters and placed it somewhere very close to this man's house. A very strategic position where he will not miss seeing it. <laughs> Two days after that, after we did that, he didn't come out of his house again. Brethren, that was the beginning of his judgment. The senior pastor and the crusade team came on Thursday. The crusade ended on Saturday. And by Sunday morning, hey, the news of his death was all over the place. He has been laid to rest to the glory of God. We believe that peace has returned to Kakuri and all Christian activities will as well go on now without any devil from the pit of hell raising an ugly head against us. Praise the Lord. Are you just sitting and looking like that? Stand up in celebration. Let's go. Go, go, go. of triumph. Everyone excited to be in the presence of the Lord tonight. Shout the Lord and say, Amen. Every agent of the devil terrorizing your life and your destiny, their judgment is here. Can I hear louder? Amen. Let's go before God appreciate him for a few seconds and then proceed in presenting our supplications before the Lord. Let's go. Thank you. 
In the name of Jesus. The Lord has heard and answered us. We believe that shall the Lord is. Amen. Would you lift up your hands and let's appreciate him. All we have tonight is heavy appreciation. Lift up your hands everywhere you are. Where Cosma Lutare the Zina Gogolaya Talalala. I stand by the apostolic and prophetic mantle of fire today to take authority over the control of every altar, every demonic and evil control over your life, over your destiny. Today I declare that control is broken in the name of Jesus. I take authority over the altar and the spell of failure at the edge of breakthrough. I declare everyone under the influence of such a spell. You're almost successful and then it fails. You almost share the testimony and then it fails. Tonight I declare that control is broken in the name of Jesus. I take authority over the spell of diverted favor. The favor that is meant to be yours, you know, suddenly went to someone else. The reward that is meant to be yours, you know, just went to someone else. And this is a repeated cycle. I declare that spell is broken in the name of Jesus. Unrewarded labor, unrewarded effort. That is, you labor and it's not rewarded. Today, it is broken. I see a chronic victim of false accusation, wrong accusation, wrong label. What you do, you know nothing about. They say you are. I just saw someone right now. You, 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 you have a situation where people just say that they see you in the dream attacking them and they will call them they will call witnesses didn't you see her didn't you see her didn't you see her i take authority over that altar of of impersonation that is using your face to attack people today it is set on fire in the name of jesus mirabel 
that spell of the enemy is broken off your life. That spell of impersonation is broken off your life. Leo fasanani kele tredi golatora yota sanana na hazala la la reke pada and I break the yoke. I break the yoke of fruitlessness, the yoke of childlessness. It is broken also from your life in the name of Jesus. And everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb in this in this category, I declare the whole is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. On top of the left thigh, above the buttock, on the waist there. Whatever arrow is there, what whether it's arthralgia, arthritis, rheumatism, whatever it is, spondylosis, whatever it is, I arrest it right now. I retrieve it and refire it back to hell in the name of Jesus. I command the right eye of somebody healed now in Jesus' name. Person lives in a place called Tacoma, T A C O M A, somewhere in the United States. Everything that is making you to be in the hiding, I declare that that satanic agenda is, is, is arrested. Whether it's the issue of documents or whether there is a false accusation and the law is looking for you, whatever it is, I declare today that that, that thing that is causing you to be in the hiding and to be watching your shadow, I declare it is arrested right now in the name of Jesus. Father, visit that man right there with the name that starts with a V in the name of Jesus. Let us whatever be your name, and that is where you are. I declare your freedom right now in the name of Jesus from monitoring spirits, from agents of hell that are after your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And I speak to someone here today, everyone that is on the run for things that you, are, you know nothing about, you are on the run, they are, they are looking for you for what you know nothing about. I declare today that agenda is broken name is endurance and the devil is making you to live out that name that is your life is permanently and enduring pain enduring suffering enduring frustration enduring all and all things i declare today is the is the is the end of the negative interpretation of that name on your life in the name of jesus Patience and peace are siblings. And the devil has tied you down and tied your life down and tied your destiny down. Let the free the sudi and that rope that they use the, to tie you down. I declare that rope is broken in the name of Jesus. Every every person here they have tied down in your family. Yes, and, they, and, and the devil gave you similar affliction, similar affliction like a bone skin affliction, whatever it is. I declare today that affliction is arrested and returned back to hell in the name of Jesus Christ master coca lanateno maratana gala i see another set of siblings with the same name that with name that is double p as well with sickle cell anemia i declare that today is the end of the crisis today is the end of the bone pain crisis today is the end of the affliction if you are saying amen shout the loudest amen somebody with a chronic leg ulcer that has refused to dry take a picture of it right now and sleep and wake up in the morning and take another picture because that affliction dries up right now in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is showing me someone in the building, in, in the building materials business, selling of building materials, selling of cement, selling of iron rod, selling of tiles and those kind of things. And, and, and your life has been in, in stagnation and stasis. And it looks like you are watching others moving and, and you're you wondering what happened. Whatever charm or spell cast on you is broken right now. And get ready because it just within days. It's as if a trailer is reversing to, 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 to that shop and just clearing out everything, or literally everything at once, as a sign to you that the spell is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. And somebody watching, wherever you are watching right now, they placed a spell and an embargo on what to do. I am anointed to announce that that embargo is lifted. If you are saying amen, say a louder amen. If you are saying amen, say a louder amen. 
If you are saying amen, shout the loudest amen. Young lady is about 18 years old. Has never menstruated at all. Is having delay in female reproductive, female reproductive development. Even the mammary glands is not developed. Oh yes, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a stasis. But I am here tonight in the name of Jesus. Parents are concerned. How can you be 18 years old and you haven't seen your menses in life and then the mammary glands are not developed? I declare today that system is arrested. Whatever is that satanic agenda in your body is arrested right now. The first thing that is going to happen is that your menstruation is going to appear literally immediately. The next thing that is going to happen is that your, your chest will develop as a woman and become functional so that you'll be able to breastfeed children when you give birth to your children in the future. And everyone that has arrested development in any realm, I announce to you today, the arrested development is over and your development is released in the name of Jesus. S-I-O-D-U C-O-D-U but has something in front of it. Whether it's an I, that is an E, C or do or O, or C or do or A. But C or do, C or do, or C or do, C or do, C or do. Just, just S I O D U is constant. I pray for you right now. I'm pulling you out of a hut where they have kept you. Let to Paratasata. He said, That's a surname, actually. That name is a surname. So there is a first name before that name. Let to Paratasata. That, that, that witchcraft hut where they have kept you. Let us kick a la and almost run you mental. I declare that hut is set on fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to come out of that hut. I command your intelligence to return back. I command your intelligence tell it to return back in the name of Jesus. That stagnation is over. That empty handedness is over. The wind blowing your life is returned back to hell. I prophesy to someone here, every evil heart and every evil coven and cage where they have kept your life, I set it on fire and I command it to come out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody is a victim of demonic visitation to to 3 a.m. every night. A visitation of terror. A visitation that is almost bordering on death. You are afraid to sleep because you know that cycle is always maintained. Tonight will be the first night where you will not have that evil visit. Wherever that altar, where they send that devil to terrorize you at that time of the night. I said that kokebeda gayada. I said that altar. Oh yeah. Your father is your father was almost like a, a native doctor. Almost like the person I'm talking about. Your father was so diabolical that himself was almost like a native doctor. You are struggling to know God. Struggling to pursue God. But it's not working. And every, every night, 2 to 3 a.m. visitation. In the name that is above every name, I speak to somebody here today. Every evil visit that is your experience at that kind of time or any time of the night at all. You are afraid to sleep. Tonight, the evil visit is over. You gave money and the money was used against you. First was given like a charity. And then there is another that was given like a contribution for something. But it was used diabolically. And you can trace but from the time I gave this money, my life started going down. Today is the end of it. Today, whatever they did against you, the blood of Jesus counters it. In this Easter season, I declare your freedom. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see somebody in a tunnel, in a journey of death. 
Yakota, whether it's on the, on the on unconscious right now or in coma, whatever, or even have of gone, just in a tunnel going. Now there is a call back for that spirit. Return back to your body right now. In the name of Jesus, you shall live and not die. You shall fulfill your days. Yes, somebody in coma is going to suddenly open his eyes and tell you an encounter that brought them back out of the tunnel of death in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. Father, thank you for tonight. I give you the praise. I give you the honor. For somebody, hear me. Tonight, the, the, the nightmare devil is over in your life forever. Your, your, your first clean and clear dream shall happen tonight. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, lift up your two hands and give him the praise. Give him the honor. Give him the adoration. Give him the worship. Give him the supremacy. The rule. Congratulations. You will not die like they died like chicken in your family. You are the one that God will use to punish the devil of your father's house. To punish the devil of your family. To punish the devil of your community. The devil will regret his devilishness because of your life. Somebody say a loud amen. Tomorrow is a day of financial release Re financial three financial rest release and restoration you have struggled so much financially and you have struggled so much for your release rest release restoration all right now it's not just going to be financial it's going to be extrapolated to destiny rest release and restoration your life for that purpose after god created the world for six days on the seventh day he rested seven is rest Naaman dipped himself in the water of jordan seven times he came out his skin returned back in full restoration when you see seven you see rest and you see restoration and you see release the wall of jericho they went around seven times and they entered into their destiny you will do seven hours fast. That is 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. That is seven hours. Six in the morning to one o'clock. Just take it brutally today. All right? And you are, you are not going to you are not going to you are not going to eat until that time. If you want, you can take it further, but just that seven hours in preparation for the night. And then let your friends and your loved ones know that a rest and a release and a restoration is happening tomorrow night. Seven hour fast. Don't break it by 12. People know 6 to 12. This is not 6 to 12. This is 6 to 1. Right? It's 7 hours on the dot. Okay? And by the time the 7 hours is over, um, just be in the spirit until the middle of the night. And then the devil will be shown his way back to hell. Somebody say loud amen. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. I believe something is about to shell him. Yesterday, I said you should send a text message to anybody owing you money who refused to pay and tell them, I am empowered to tell you to pay me my money. And I say to you, and if they don't do that, they are going to lose the money 10 times and still pay you later with apology. So somebody sent a text to somebody who has been owing him for five years. He said in the test what I didn't ask him to say. He said, I have been empowered to tell you to pay me my money. And if you don't pay me my money, you will lose money ten times of what you are owing me and you will still pay me with apology. He sent the man the text. When the man got the text, he began to call him in a hurry. Can we meet? When can we see well, he said he called him five times. That's somebody who has not answered him for five years. So just give me till Thursday, I'll credit your account. He didn't say who empowered you. He didn't say what, what you are saying, what is the source of it? <laughs> hey! Ay, 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 Everyone sitting on what is yours, they shall lose their peace. They shall lose their sleep. They shall lose their rest until what is yours enters your hands. The fast is for the release, the rest, and restoration majorly 
of your destiny. Right? The money will command them to be released and will plant our seeds accordingly. But take that seven hours fast. Hallelujah. We have identified Monday as a day in which we give. Feel free to give. The details will be on the screen. But everyone here tonight in need of surrender to Jesus, place your hand on your chest and pray after me and say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life and make me a new person. Today, I've decided to follow you, Lord, no turning back. Forward ever, backward never. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Go ahead and make your offerings available. London, England, United Kingdom, get ready. The fire, the glory train is, is coming next to you. Just get ready, get ready, get ready. Ensure that you, 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 you volunteer. Okay, see the buses? Wow, 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 wow. These are London buses that are plastered with publicity. There was something that the, the team of people actually mentioned that we should say today. And it is an operation. Do you have it on the screen? So I can read it. Operation. Just a moment. There is an operation that they mentioned for us. To mention. All right. Operation Notify United Kingdom. He says, Hello, beloved. We are launching a campaign from 12 midnight today titled Operation Notify United Kingdom. This basically means that everyone involved in the conference in any way and those connected from all over the world, all of us, you are mandated to send the flyer and the registration details to everyone you know. That reside in the UK. Everyone you know. Newly relocated to the UK. And those schooling in the UK. Region or visiting with the conference period. Etc. Anybody you know. Just send them the links. Send them the. From, in, yeah, somebody called me from Canada today. And he said he will be coming. So the man coming from Canada. All the people you know in the UK. Send them the links. The people coming from the US. Send them the links. The people coming from Africa. From yeah, Kenya, send the links to all your loved ones and those uh, Britons, send all the links to your loved ones and we shall have the, the places getting filled up on time by, by virtue of the registration. I think we have just a gallery level left now or something. Ensure that you rush in to make sure you register before this time and the earth is being filled. It's called the glory of his presence with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. I believe that Kaduna shall be reproduced if not numerically, it shall be reproduced supernaturally and reproduced miraculously and otherwise in, in, in all forms in the glory conference in England. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Oval Arena Wembley is where the program is holding. God bless you in Jesus' name. Register now and that is the detail. Somebody say a loud amen. Somebody shout the loudest amen. Lift up your hands and the Lord bless you. I've led to Christ. Those who need to give their life to Christ. I've done that. All right. Please ensure that you give us your names. That you have made your ways right with God. See you tomorrow. Seven hours fast. And then we are on for the rest. The release. And the restoration of our finances. And our destiny. God bless you. And keep you. 2024. And above only. Please recruit somebody into the fast. Send a text to somebody. That on commanding the day tomorrow. We have a seven hours fast for rest, for release, for restoration. Ask them to join it. The Bible said God turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Ask your friends to join. God bless you. Celebrations. Bless your security. The Lord is strengthening you. Celebration.